Hey, welcome everybody. I am DJ Clean and today we will talk about streaming. So we'll talk about streaming on Twitch with OBS, but really you can use the same steps and equipment to stream on Facebook or YouTube or whatever uh, social media streaming platform you decided to go for. We'll review in the video the equipment you will need and we'll try to stay cheap or start streaming with whatever you have already. The idea is to start small and start with what you have. So, well, not invest in the camera. The camera will be your cell phone. You do have a cell phone and that will be the webcam. The number two is the sound card. We will not have a sound card to stream. We will use the mixer sound card. So if you do have a mixer with two USB ports, you don't need to invest in a sound card. You use the one that you have in a mixer. So that's big saving right there. And number three, that will hurt a little bit, is it's really better if you have two computers to stream. I tried to stream with OBS and Serato on the same computer, but it really slows down the machine and there is a delay in the video and the audio, therefore it's not really nice to watch. Now, it's not forbidden to call on a friend and ask him to bring his laptop and you can hook up your equipment and you start to stream on each other's page and you'll be happy, you'll be with your friend and you will be able to stream, so that's good! <laughs> Honestly, this is a big thing, the two computers. But if you overcome this, uh, you will be able to stream. So let's get into the details and hook up the equipment. Here we go. First step, you need to download the software. We will download OBS. OBS is free. It's quite easy to install. And it will allow you to stream on Twitch. Or if you want to stream on Facebook or YouTube or whatever else, you can. Once you have OBS, you will need to download uh, the software for the camera. So this is the camera that I recommend to use. It's your phone. And you can use this app called Camera for OBS Studio. It's not free, but it really worth it and it's less expensive than buying a camera. There is a step-by-step -step, uh, guide to follow to help you to connect. You also need to download a software for your laptop to recognize your phone as a camera. You can connect it to OBS. Here is the step-by-step -step instruction. And this is me doing it. So now you have your OBS. You need to connect your camera. You will see that uh, it shows up the iOS camera. You can enter a name. And you will see on the list of device, it doesn't show up. <laughs> so you click on the refresh button right here and it will pop up. See, it works. Hello. <laughs> you will see it on the list of device and you can reframe the size of the video to fit the OBS screen. What it looks like on the phone. So you launch the OBS for camera. For this video, I'll uh, keep the portrait mode. And there are many, there are a few things you can adjust on the camera. You can adjust the focal point. You can adjust the zoom. You can adjust the sensibility. And there is even a ultra wide angle mode to allow you to uh, see your full set. So really worth the value, I think. Now that you have your OBS and your camera, you need to connect the mixer. So the sound card, we say we'll use the one from the mixer. So on that list, you click on add an audio input. You will see your mixer showing up in the list. This is the DJM S9. And here it is on the list of equipment connected. I'll do the same thing with the RAIN 72 just to show you that it works on both. Click on the plus, click on the add, audio in, add an audio input. You can enter a name as well. 
same menu and now you will see the rain 72. This is it, you're connected. So this is what it should look like. You see that my phone is recording and connected to the computer that is streaming. This is the view from the mixer. So I have the camera in front of me on landscape mode. This is the computer with Serato connected to the mixer. And on the other side, you will see the computer that I use for streaming with OBS. This is what it looks like from the computer that is recording. So honestly, the quality is quite amazing considering that it's your phone and you don't need to buy a camera. Good job. Now that you've done all of that, the last thing you need to do is stream with the rest of the world. So you go to OBS, you click on that stream button and here you select what platform do you want to stream from. I will always recommend when you start your streaming to click that record button just below that will save a video file on your computer and that will allow you uh, to edit first if uh, you don't have the copyright to post it on YouTube like I did <laughs> but uh, no it's uh, more content to share game. on your YouTube it's or Facebook it. that you just recorded so this is it I hope you enjoyed it don't hesitate if you have questions to leave it in the comment and uh, I'll try to answer with the best of my knowledge. Have an happy stream and thank you for watching.